Hello, welcome to another LEGO bootleg review. This is Xingyuan's Falcon Commandos, like an army series. I've reviewed um, some previous Falcon Commandos, and uh, I got this online, and uh, the seller put these along with uh, some of uh, uh, these, which I'm also going to film, and into the same box just to make them easier for shipping. So, uh, this is a big crate that holds uh, 4x2, so 8 boxes in it, and I figured I'd just show you guys these crates since. Well, why not? Uh, most people overseas buying these are not going to see this crate. So you got Falcon Commandos, um, and the Chinese underneath this says uh, uh, "Scary Assassin Kill," so you know, means terrorist. And um, side of the box, and back of the box, bottom of the box, got some general information and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Now, this is one thing Lego can't sue because it's sort of generic army stuff, which does not have copyrights and stuff. So. Back to quick look at the boxes. Um, each box has two characters and some sort of vehicle thing going on. Here's a look at these. Another one. The other one. And the other one. Oops, that's back to fun. And yeah, uh, the backs of them, boxes, also showcase. Kind of like how Lego showcases the toys in action. If you do want to take a closer look at the box art, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. And at the top of the boxes... Mm. Sideways, showing you the other sets you can get. Generic information information at the bottom, and, other, and the other two sets in the line. And all these come with two sheets of instructions. Um, the way they work is, you got the instructions for the big car, and instructions for the minifigure almost and the minifigure inside is also uh, for the most part in its own little baggie like so so it's almost as if uh, they were planning to uh, release these as just the figures with maybe just less accessories the uh, overall instructions were Pretty easy to follow. Had no problems with them, and the build was, uh, I guess, fun enough. Nothing was too hard to put together, or too easy to put together. Um, nothing got stuck. The clutch was overall okay in the build. Yeah, some of the generic, generic gun packs you get in this set. Um, we've seen this a lot with all these some sort of army bootlegs, knockoff figures. Um, they always have these weapons going on. And as always, all of them are pretty decent, just snap them out and plug them together, and they all work. We're going to take a closer look at all the figures at the end, but this is what set 1 comes with. You have an uh, uh, army crate here that you can open up. We've seen these uh, crates copied by a lot of bootlegs before, but here it's got the Falcon Commando logo and stuff printed on there. Uh, the print is pretty sharp and detailed, just in a sort of grayscale color. You have a little uh, oil tank there, with a little stud hole on the back for easy carrying and plugging onto different things. You have a desk here, has a tiny tiny little laptop, and the laptop again has a little hole on the back for it to plug on different things. You got a little keyboard thing going on there. And a little mouse pad and stuff, and this opens and closes of course. Well, doesn't quite want to close, the plastic's a bit too tough. Come on. Uh, Alright. You can slide the uh, little bump and a little peg into the handle there and it should close up. You have, to, you have the drone that the uh, computer is probably controlling. It's actually a pretty smart thing to do. You see the little pegs there? They're actually uh, minifigure hands that they've pulled out. There's also a little handlebar there for um, it to make it look like wheels, I guess. But um, I figure you can also hold on to this and glide with this little drone. And Finally, you also have this little car there, which you cannot put anyone in there. This is the wrong scale. This is just a tiny little uh, mish, like a little car build. Um, I guess you can alter it just enough, like if you move this lid and think this it, there's space for a figure to sit there. Um, but it's just designed to be like a little mini kit. Um, it does look decent, looks nice, it's just it does not match the minifigure scale. So convert this, alter it in some way and change it into something for your figures. Um, this, each box comes with one display plate, so only one character gets to uh, sit on that and the other one has to sort of freeform and sort of hope he doesn't fall over. Set 2 here comes with uh, free sandbags, so you can build that however you want to make something out of it. Again, another one of these oil canisters. 
you got uh, one display space and one and here one guy has a terrace and you have this scene here which has a lot of burning and fire and uh, a decapitated guy with no arms and everything and uh, these transparent red that are meant to symbolize blood it must be so blood bloody gore and stuff and you got this car here this little uh, um, go-kart um, whatever you want to call it um, yeah, it's got uh, it's like scars printed on the side, like battle damage and stuff. That's pretty cool. Again, you can see two tiny seats in there, but again, the scale is completely wrong. You also have a printed piece on the front of the a logo there. This gun on top here, turn does spin and rotate, so that's something at least. But again, I can't help but feel like these uh, need a little bit um, converting to allow actual figures sitting in them to make them better because. Um, why why put these with minifigure stuff when minifigures can't sit in them? I don't get it. Hmm. A buggy, that's what they're called. Set number three, you have another one of these boxes, another one of these oil canisters. I think they're trying to tell us something. And uh, we have a uh, hostage which is uh, tied up to this tree here. Um, he's got torn uh, clothing, which actually looks very much like the, uh, the Lego zombie minifigure, just uh, all the grey areas and uh, things have been converted back to the actual flesh colour. And uh, actually this guy does look like that zombie, Lego zombie minifigure, the official one, before he became a zombie. And um, yeah, so he's just got a chain there tied to this tree, which does look decent enough. You got the uh, sandier greens there. And you got this uh, sort of, um, I guess it's a tank. Yeah, this tank here, we've got a printed piece on the front, again the logo, and some printed pieces on the side, a 1x2 plates that has random scratch marks on it, which gives it... It's a nice detail, but here it just seems out of place because the rest of the tank is just a single color and just randomly a very neat square of scratches. So this looks a bit weird. So the wheels turn fine on the top here, this turns fine as well. And again, it's um, a really, really small scale. Um, at least all of these vehicles are the same scale as each other, but um, there's no way, I don't really see any simple way of converting this into something a minifigure could sit in. You're going to have to take apart a lot of this for that to work, so it's still a it's very solid, very nice looking vehicle if you like army stuff, but um, I, as you know, uh, if you've been watching this channel, I just prefer minifigure scaled stuff. With the fourth and last set, we have uh, three more sandbags, we have a soldier guy and another terrorist here, um, we have this crate, and we have a bomb that has a piece attached in there with a little timer, and three of these cans, all of them printed pretty well, I'm going to zoom in now, and uh, they say oil. I really think this set is trying to tell us something. Uh, but yeah, a little can of oil, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, three of these printed in there, print elements, these little cans are really nice. Um, they're nice and official Lego, and we're getting some here, which is pretty good as well. Uh, we also do get a can, one can that's plugged onto the actual car here, so that's a bit oversized. And I'm not really sure what this is meant to be or anything, but. Um, it's like a sort of tank thing. It's got um, some buckets on the back and it turned in the middle. And um, again, it looks alright. It's built alright. It looks a bit futuristic compared to the other ones. But um, I guess a minifigure can stand on the back, maybe. Yeah, not really much to say about these. They're all very solid. Solid? Uh, solid. Solid cars. Alright, so these four are the figures that had their plates, and I uh, assume that these four are part of the Falcon Commandos. And there they are, oh, um, we got, uh, this guy's got the generic face, this guy's got a newer face, and generic face, and I think that's just like a, one of the Bruce Wayne faces, and other uh, pretty generic faces, but that's fine, all of them are soldiers and stuff, so of course they're going to have generic faces. And all these figures are actually pretty much identical, they've got the same prints and the same patterns on the uh, camouflage, same on the arm stuff, they have different hats. All of them have the same arm prints as well. And the same side leg prints. And here's a quick look at the back of their uh, sort of um, <clears throat> uh, bullet bulletproof vest. And here, the, here they are, all four of them with their armors and stuff off. And uh, yeah, all of them, the prints is exactly the same. Can't tell the difference between any of them really, just the facial expressions are different. Here are the other four figures. Uh, this this guy right here has got like a little uh, radio. I think it's controlling his drone. 
a little binoculars, guy doesn't have anything. He has a red crowbar, which is awesome, uh, with a little Uzi gun there, and he's got an automatic uh, rifle, as well as this huge gun pack. And uh, we just put and turn them around. The uh, the gun pack thing, the ammo pack has a little clip on it, so he has a saw that you can put there. Let me turn them around. He's wearing a backpack that has a uh, dynamite inside because terrorists and stuff. And here they are with all their gear removed. Um, this guy definitely looks a bit goofy. Oh, and um, yeah, this guy also looks kind of funny, really cartoony and colourful. Uh, for such a for set with such a kind of serious theme, um, this guy looks way too hilarious. Kind of looks like a, actually a racist stereotype from all the uh, older sort of Looney Tunes or cartoons from like the 50s and stuff. And here's a quick look at the back. Uh, all these figures are printed very sharply and uh, uh, the back doesn't have too much detail but um, what detail they do have is still nice. So, yeah, just like previous army stuff, uh, the figures here are pretty decent, you get a bunch of weapons and the accessories are pretty nice, I just don't like them, the mini vehicles you get here, but there are enough parts and printed parts that you can use to probably build your own vehicle if you put them all together, maybe, and the uh, some of the printed accessories are really, really cool. Um, if Shenyang was to release this under its own thing, like just the minifigures and the accessories, I would get that instead. Uh, the tree in the middle there is pretty nice, there's a nice set piece, the sandbags are nice, and the drones are nice. Uh, the vehicles, if you like mini vehicles, then by all means get this set. It's, not, it's definitely not that expensive. But if I was to compare this to the, um, the DLP stuff, uh, those are far better figures than here. Uh, none of these figures have any clutch issues, nothing too tight, nothing too loose, so that's great. But um, the, the printing and the style and of course the accessories and the price that they're going for, the DLP stuff that I reviewed previously with the multicolored army and, and camouflage stuff and the metal and die cast accessories are definitely way better than what we've got here. Still, if you have previous Falcon Commando stuff and you're just looking to enlarge your collection and add more figures and stuff to that, by all means, check this out. It's not a bad set at all, it's just there's something nicer out there. So, and I also would have preferred that if we have uh, more villains in this set, uh, there's, there's not enough terrorist figures. Um, all of the previous army packs that you get, they're usually, from Xingyuan at least, they're usually more of the good guys. If you want more bad guys, then uh, Lili has produced bad guys before, but Lili's a bit iffy. And I haven't really reviewed the Lili set in a while because they've not been producing as much lately. And nothing really interesting. So, yeah, need more villains. Maybe an 8 pack of villain minifigures, that'd be great. But then they won't do that because they want kids to buy the heroes and stuff. And that's really annoying. Can we have at least a 4 pack of good guys and 4 pack of bad guys, maybe? Hmm. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye bye.